President Biden is expected to use executive authority to move $7 billion in frozen funds Afghanistan deposited in U.S. banks. This has not been formally announced, but let's take a deeper dive into how the money will be split up. $3.5 billion will go to humanitarian projects and other basic Afghan needs. The other half would remain in the U.S. and be used to fund ongoing attempts by some 9-11 families to seize the assets as damages. International funding to Afghanistan was suspended and billions of dollars of the country's assets abroad, mostly in the U.S., were frozen after the Taliban took control of the country in August. The executive order is expected to be signed later today.